They just left Beacon. Good. It won't be too long. In Hyde Park on Hudson, just Bill Murray just takes on the role of a lifetime, just portraying legendary American President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Mr. President? Just one of those things. Bill is understandably perceived as a comedian, but he's first and foremost a wonderful actor. He catches the spirit of FDR and even the look, which is quite uncanny. So nice of you to come, Mr. President. Forgive me for not getting up. It's not like Dr. Peter Brinkman or the Ghostbusters. His history was pretty much a thumbnail sketch. The history of the Roosevelt's is deep and well documented, and there's a lot to swallow and a lot to digest. He spent a lot of time working on the look, working on how to speak with a version of Roosevelt's voice. We could have sold tickets for this dinner and made ourselves a pile of money. Roosevelt had kind of an unusual upbringing. He lived part of the year in New York City, part of the year in Hyde Park, New York, upstate. Part of the year in Campobello, a little island on the border of the U.S. and Canada. He'd go to England every year. So even though it's a very distinct voice, it's a hard one to mimic. Fellas, would one of you please tell Mother that this is radio? <laughs> the difficulty of portraying somebody with polio was a physical challenge as well as an acting challenge. My sister had polio, so I grew up with her wearing a brace. We did quite a lot of work with calipers and crutches so that Bill could get very used to what that would be. Roosevelt, in his later life, was carried and wheeled and supported and held, but you never saw him wearing self-pity. The newspaper photographers would refrain from taking photographs until he was covered up and ready to be photographed. OK, boys, take it away. The press remarkably observed this convention with Roosevelt all the way through his political career. We think they see all our flaws. But that's not what they're looking to find when they look to us. Set. Action. His car was designed to be driven without legs. It's a 36 Ford Phaeton. There's that Greyhound symbol on the front. This is the throttle right here, and this is how he operates the gas. This pedal here is arm operated. It locked on this bar here and depressed the clutch, and if you pushed it all the way down, it hits the brakes. So I had to practice driving this thing around on the lot trying to power shift. And I ground the gears a little bit. For a guy who's chained to the desk and chained to the job like he was, you know the feeling of getting in a convertible? All that freedom on your own property in a convertible, leave the Secret Service and the police behind you, and just roll. He's famous for scaring the daylights out of people like the King and Queen of England. When they used to be driven practically her speed, it's always at 15 miles an hour so people can wave to him. <laughs> But driving like this and shifting, doing it all with his hands. You too comfy back there? Yes, thank you. You know, it was fun for him. And they're thinking, who's got the brakes? To His Majesty, the King. Bill Murray playing FDR. He is entertaining and surprising. Daisy, what a rad trait. It's amazing to watch anyone really push themselves into a precarious situation in taking on a part. It's just fun. It's a lovely presence. He keeps the whole thing bowling along. <laughs> the thing I've enjoyed enormously is doing a two-handed scene with Bill Murray, which is one for the grandchildren. They didn't want me as their king. I didn't know they voted for that in England. 